Playing games always helps when I'm down in moods, if it's particularly you feel like doing. Like any hobby. Now it's time for 3-3, as evil as dead. No points if you guess what this level's gonna be a reference to. Well, Dante's Inferno, if you're referring to the game, that's based off of the story. I more meant the story of Dante's Inferno. Look at those beautiful little dancing dolls. Anyways. What's wrong, baby? She's gone psycho! Run for your life! Just to show this off, you don't want to like, get caught by your uh, girlfriend here. Let me show why. <laughs> we clipped to the ground there. She's the one that kill. Kind of a funny kill, but regardless, cartoony. Let's continue from there. So anyways, don't get caught by her is the idea here. Go, Garcia, go! What's wrong, baby? She's gone psycho! Run for your life! Alright, so we have to book as much as we can for this part. I hate to say it, G, but your girl has gone mental. She's always been crazy. That is why I love her. But she never gets mad at you. Oh, she gets mad. One morning, after a bout of passionate lovemaking, she was making us coffee just to get a reaction. I told her I was married. You were being funny? Yeah, a practical joke, you know? Chicks love those. Paula was so angry, she grabbed a knife and chased me all over the apartment. And she is scary with a knife. I see us at least once. Alright, thankfully I'm pretty good at this, so... And out we go. <laughs> you guys remember the Sister Grimms, right? Like that. Except again, again. Before we get too deep into this, I'm gonna upgrade my health again. All the progress into my health bar. Now this one's a bit tougher than the previous boss battle, and you'll see why. Happens she has clones. Alright, reload that for the upcoming rounds we fight the Sister Grim. Darkness again. Time for more clones. You can tell which one's right based on which one has the red gem on her chest. Oh, be careful which one you look at. Ow. <laughs> There's the right one. Fuck me! I was doing that terribly. You need to be careful with the clones, though. You have to find the one which is uh, has the glowing red heart, and then shoot down with the light shot. The light shot moves slow, though, and she moves fast. Thus, it's a perfect combination. No, it isn't. some ammo before she starts using all of her moves. Let's find the right of three clones. There we go. Alright. Gotta find the right ones when it comes to this stuff. Thankfully, if you keep them in a chain, she'll keep on using her darkness attack. Find the right one quickly, please. There she is. Fuck me! Fuck me! I, I see the right one, I see the right one. Come on, let me get it. Fuck, I'm doing terribly, I'm doing terribly. Drink, drink, drink. There we go, hit her. Right. 
Wait for her to do the same thing. Now time for it to get ridiculous. Be careful which one you look at, because that'll be the one that gets summoned to, to you. There you are. Gotcha. Not done yet. You thought we'd be dead. Uh, there you are. Fuck, fuck, fuck. There we go, hit her. Right when she hit me. And fourth time's the charm. Never as easy as that to get a blue gem in your life. Let's see if I can get a few more things of ammo, because ammo is always useful. There we go. A little bit of ammo in your life. Alright, so time to go into the Veil of Darkness. First take a dump. And charge! Not like that, like this. So, through the darkness, we're on our way to try and get our blue gem back. Think for the cutscenes to take any of your energy away. Gotta keep on eating human hearts to get goodies. Now there's some bonus stuff you can get if you're in the mood, like I always am. Up here, I believe that is red gem. So red gem obtained. I think it's enough to get our fucking, if I'm not mistaken, uh, upgrades to get all the health. Or at least get close to all the health. Gotta keep it up as we get the blue gem now. a pretty prize. Mm -hmm, I smell an upgrade. Plug it in, G. And another upgrade already. Now we have the Teeth Grinder, which is an upgrade to the machine gun. It makes it less accurate, but fires a lot more bullets a lot quicker. It also will eventually upgrade into something even better. Not too far along now. Take a moment to upgrade with our two things. I will put them both currently into health because we're almost all the way at the top max health. Magicians. Anything else around us? No secrets behind us. That means the only way forward is forward. A few things to shoot. Machine gun ammo. Nothing. Machine gun ammo. Andy. Gotta stomp some zombies. Alright, there's still more zombies forming, so gotta be a bit careful. Is there something in the trees there, or...? I'm just crazy. There's alcohol right there, though. Nope, spiky zombies won't get the fucking rush on me. We got feet. The only way to do this is creep. Ah, oh, there's never an endless supply of zombies around. Stomp this guy for a few good. I keep on thinking I hear someone calling behind me, but I guess that's not true. Take you out first. Magic. Oh. That was a way to lose a lot of health quickly. Oh, oh. You almost got me. I think that there's a cyborg zombie coming up, if I'm not mistaken. Guess not yet. Ah, so many gems, I'm so happy. Now comes the cyborg zombie. 
That's right. Let's go. That's one dead. Almost that room I feel. Ah, that explosive actually hit me. Close battle. But in the end, who did we really expect to win? Alright, over here is a flashy, flashy eyeball. Now, which baby crying around in the immediate radius is gonna want an eyeball? There's only three right answers, and one of them happens to be me. Of course it's this one, though. <laughs> Light tissue time. I think these pescados locos have taken a shine to us. Ha ha ha, funny. Stay in the light. We can't see their eyes if they're wearing a mask. I suggest you try and utilize whatever to get through this. This next section is kind of difficult. Partially because it's so fucking hard to see the zombies in this section. And there's a lot of that. Ow. Bigger drink, definitely. What the lights you should do its thing? Oh, I, I forgot this was the introduction of these enemies. I almost forgot that these enemies even existed. These bitches are annoying as hell. They have no arms, they have no legs. They're really annoying because they do a lot of damage, like uh, pointy little enemies. And there's more than one of them in this arena, so your first encounter with them. And they used to wear a mask too. I think the only really big weak point for bodies. Let's try to get them to reveal the mask that I just did. They're also not good with the shotgun because I have way too much. Where the lights should go? There are some nice secrets in the dark though if you want to explore a little bit. Let me first take care of this guy though. Alright, so there, Light Sushi, you've returned to me, you beautiful creature. Alright, shotgun shells just to make the road easier. There's another zombie. Yeah! Fucking spike enemies. I don't even know what the fuck they were doing right there before. There's an enemy. Come on. Yay, fast moving spike zombies, my favorite. Or demons. I keep on calling them zombies, but demons. You love this. There you are. Wait, okay, you know what? Just come over the fuck over here. There we go, that made my job easier. I swear there's a hidden red gem somewhere around here. I'm gonna run the perimeter for a second to make sure I haven't missed it. Yeah, I think it's inside one of these areas. Was it you? Yep, I remember correctly. And this last red gem will give me all of my health bonus. Hip hip hooray, done with that.
Now let's go to this cabin, which obviously isn't a reference to any popular grindhouse horror movie. Oh, your uh, girlfriend can kill you here. Why do I feel like I'm in a movie? What, were you raised in a barn? Good to know we have the same tastes. That's one way to start off. Let the crazies begin. I'm gonna do all the stomping I can. Make my life more fun. I want this gem. There we go, I got it. Alright, still gotta watch out for those zombies though. I can do a variety apparently. More and more will just keep on coming though. For God's sake, how do you stop them? <laughs> That's a joke because it's a quote from the Evil Dead film. And he says it super seriously and cheesy. Uh, there's that one there. All set up. So many gem opportunities right now. Not that I'm complaining, keep that in mind. I welcome my gem overlords. There we go, so I'm just not one. Or extra new one. Alright, more cash. Cash, cash, cash. All the cash you grab. You did good. I don't know what that was. Motherfuck! Look at Paula go. She's gotten really good at using her hands. On a handstand. <laughs> if people here earlier, they know what I'm repressing to. Uh, regardless. Yeah, so we have another storybook. I wonder what villain we're gonna learn about today. The Legend of Stinky Crow. Let's read. The Legend of the Stinky Crow. Go, go. For nearly 14 years, his mind had been soaring miles above. But Elliot Thomas was still stuck down on Earth in the boring town of Sinchester. Sinchester. Sinster. What? It's pronounced Sinster. How do you know? My cousin's from Sinster. Never mind. Keep going. <sighs> Alone in his treehouse, he glued feathers to his wing suit, readying himself for the day he would join the Phoenixes and Quetzalcoatls in the sky. Dinner time, cried his mother from their house across the yard. Elliot sat at the center of the table. A TV dinner was challenged his B.O. as the dominant smell in the room. <laughs> On his left, his mother yammered about her day at the ER. On his right, his father was absorbed in his smartphone. As for Elliot, his eyes were fixed on the ceiling fan. The most fascinating personality within a 10-foot radius. In homeroom the next day, Justin Schmakowski threw a crappy paper airplane at him. Within seconds, Elliot had built a superior vessel. He stood up on his chair and swiftly launched the Papier Flieger. What? At his unsuspecting enemy. Go, Papier Flieger, go! Zoom, splort, splort. The marvel of paper aviation lodged itself in Justin's tender eyeball. <laughs> Mr. Thomas bellowed their teacher. Go to the principal's office. Later that day, Elliot was cooing quietly to himself 
as he bought a candy bar in the lobby. Casey Wichtitz was smoking nearby and sneered at him. You'll never fly, stinky crow, she laughed. Why don't you go jack off to some bird porn? <laughs> I bet you do more fapping than flapping. Hey, that's pretty good. Fuck you, screeched Elliot as he ran for the door. It was dark out by the time Elliot meandered home. On the sidewalk, he passed a gaunt man who stared at him intently, desperately even. Uh-oh, stranger danger. The man opened his mouth and said, Uviwa, Uviza. What the fuck? Elliot had planned to eat his candy bar tonight while he finished his masterpiece, but he instead held it out to the man. I know what you mean, he replied. Now, for those who are a bit more perceptive, uh, the person making the oui, voix noises is supposed to be George, who was making those noises earlier. And so the boy that George met in his previous story was who we got the candy bar from before he died was uh, Elliot here, and the man Elliot's mean right now was George. You'll come to notice throughout the storybooks that all of the major bosses in this game had some sort of connection to each other. Anyways, onward. The schoolyard was packed the next morning as Elliot's classmates waited for first bell. Go, go! As one, the students turned toward the gate and saw Elliot dressed head to toe in his wingsuit. After a moment of shock, they burst into laughter. But they were already far below him. He swooped through their midst and into the school. Call, call! He bounded through the halls, zigzagged up the stairwell. Gah! The school let out a collective gasp when they saw a stinky crow on the roof. With a triumph, Vant snap, he spread his wings, and a moment later, he had leapt. The next two seconds were the most beautiful of Elliot's entire life. He could feel their eyes upon him. He was flying and their hour was keeping him aloft. Ten minutes later, as guidance counselors wiped bits of Elliot off sobbing students, and the police struggled to piece together the story you are reading now, Elliot's teacher looked down at the wreckage of the boy on the pavement, and never forgot what he saw. One bloody hand had formed a peace sign. The other was giving him the finger. It's like an Alanis Morissette song. The end. Okay, lovely. I don't think I'll sleep for weeks. Get out cojones. I think we all learned something very valuable there today. Anyways, um, going on to the next area. I think we have enough to buy another gemstone from our favorite guy. <laughs> oh, I would hate to be the dumbass that got tricked into renting that cabin. Alright, go this way. Red gem, please. And set. Never know when it's gonna fucking poop out or vomit. Y'all take care now. You don't ever feel like you're part of some crazy motion picture. Happy trails. Shop smart. Shop Seamart. Y'all got that? All the references. <laughs> See y'all real soon. Anyways, red gem. I'll start since I'm guess I'm doing damage. I guess I'll put this one to the skull. Magic. A 
Anything else to say? Nope, looks like we're pretty much good. Guess who's back for more? And he said, Boy, my girlfriend. she just loves you to pieces! Run! Yeah, I took the right turn this time. Now, this part's kind of tricky, but you, of course, can do it. Look, there's a key! We'd better kill all the demons in case they've got more! Open this up, and let's rush it. Now this part, you can't really be picky about who you kill. You can freeze your girlfriend who's chasing you with a shot like that. Be careful though, Lair get near you, and you are dead. And you do need to kill the zombies here, so hip hip hooray. This is a lot easier if you had taken the time to uh, get your skills up. Alright, get by her. Excuse me, Paula. You need to kill all this? No, 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 I'm gonna get caught by her. I can hear her getting really, really close. Try to lure as much over here as I can. Come on, come on, run, run, run! All right, there we Into go. The house, quick. No, 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 no! One more to get. Get as much over here as I possibly can. I run by her so she doesn't fucking kill me. Stomp this guy. All right, now we get to the house. There we go, put an eyeball in, hopefully we get him before she grabs us. Good. Drop it. You first. Why do I get the sense you and me are in the same line of work? <laughs> Wasting hell monkeys? Who says it's work? Uh-huh. Just stay out of my way, friendo. I'm in a hurry. Hurry to do what? Mind your own fucking business. Fine. You stay out of my way. As long as I stay out of yours. Good. Hard men like us don't mix. Wait, 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 wait. Who's that a comma? Hard like hardened. Experienced. Just forget it. I don't think I ever will. Now, if you'll excuse me. Have fun. Just remember. I stay out of your way, you stay out of mine. Bingo. Now, for those who haven't picked up on it yet, uh, the character we just saw is the other demon hunter that we saw earlier with Mr. Rex. Also, he is a complete parody of Gears of War. If the Gears of War irrelevance wasn't quite evident yet, let's first read this. Local woman dies in grisly murder. Look, G, what are those newspaper articles? It says, local woman dies in grisly murder. Maria Dominico, a native of Langosta, was found dead early Thursday morning outside her suburban home. She was 29 years old. According to local police, her skin... <gasps> her skin has been completely removed. Good Lord. She is survived by her husband, Colonel... Hmm, that's weird. The name has been X'd out. The name of the person who dies is the same as one of the main characters of Gears of War. Not the main main character, but one of the mains. I'm not going to look at that again. Uh, the last name is the same as one of the characters from Gears of War. Uh, the name is X'd out because it's Colonel, and the character looks like a character from Gears of War. There's a few more things here and there, but I won't go too deep into it. Gears of War parody. On back this way. Now, if you thought the spike zombies weren't annoying enough, now they fucking have an invisible variety. 
Oh boy, my exact what I asked for. You know, I just wasn't quite annoyed enough with sickle zombies. Might as well ask for them to be invisible. Anyways, though. Yep, oh boy. Alright, killed that one. Only one more to go. There is one advantage to the invisible ones. Because they're invisible, they aren't as quite as fierce as the normal ones. Garcia? Angel? I found you at last. My love. I want to hold you. Wait. What? Paula, I swear I'm coming! Garcia, I don't think I can make it. <laughs> Fuck! Fuck you! You dickwad! Fuck you! Out of my way! This one's mine! Hey. The one I loved was taken away by this fiend. I don't know why she died, but that question no longer concerns me. All I want now is to have her back. But I have the deep feeling that's not gonna happen. Because the flesh that hangs from this fucker's body looks all too familiar. This is your death, hell beast! Hard man. Fuck! 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 Here I come, fucker! Magnifico. Go on, G. I'm ready for insertion. Another day, more sexual inentos, and another upgrade to the Skullfest 9000. Now then, we can shoot up to four demon skulls at once for massive carnage. I have even barely used the first one, but still, part of the fun. Magical charged demon skulls. I say that's worth fighting for. Anyways, that is a really easy way to take care of this next section of the head. Look at all those zombies that just have to be coming right now. You better not make them all blow up like that. Ta-da! Simplicity's sake. I believe that- was there something around here? I remember there being a path, or maybe it was just straight up ahead. Yep. I don't think we have enough gems for an upgrade, let's find out if we are done. Somebody is out there dropping enough F-bombs to start World War III, I tell you what! Y'all take care now! Y'all need anything? It's a batshit crazy world out there. 
stupid tr that badass with the scar. He one of your friends. See y'all real soon. There you go. Office dialogue tree's there. We're almost done with Act Three. Let's get this open. And remember, in Act Three, I have a total of five acts. Next up, we have the boss of Act Three. Batshit, you actually got the pun there, Mrs. Clover. <laughs> 